It seems like nearly every Tuesday, Aaron Rodgers is going to have something to say that'll ruffle feathers on the Pat McAfee show. And now that Pat McAfee's partnered with ESPN and they're platforming Aaron Rodgers, saying things that they probably vehemently disagree with as a company, things have only gotten more interesting. Because as of right now, he hasn't pulled any punches while he's live on ESPN. And ESPN, to their credit, hasn't moved to censor him or anything like that. Right now, it's been more of the same Aaron Rodgers on the Pat McAfee show, regardless of whether it's just on YouTube or whether it's being multicast to ESPN. But now what he said today, once again, has people talking about Dr. Fauci because it was only a week or two ago where Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee show and he challenged Mr. Pfizer himself, Travis Kelsey, to a debate. He said, Kelsey, you and Dr. Fauci versus me and RFK. Let's do it on the Pat McAfee show. Well, I don't know if you've ever heard an official reply to that challenge, but Aaron Rodgers did have more to say about Fauci on today's Pat McAfee show. NFL fans react to what Aaron Rodgers said about Dr. Fauci. And this got brought up because people are talking about Aaron Rodgers and his injury recovery. And to be real... It's been remarkable to see how quickly he's been able to walk without crutches, how quickly he was able to get back out on the field and play catch before the game. We're we're talking about a dude who's like five months, sorry, five weeks, not months, five weeks removed from major Achilles surgery. Usually, that would have been something that kept somebody out for at least a year. Now, the recovery times of, you know, they've dropped down to several, several months, but still, the fastest we've ever seen was a five-month recovery for Cam Akers. Aaron Rodgers is looking to beat that and potentially come back this year, which would be fucking nonsensical. Well, in reference to that and to defying science, Aaron Rodgers had something to say on the Pat McAfee show. You got to guard your desk. Well, we got a guy that Aaron does things his own way, you know? You're right. Look at his Achilles, right? Look yeah. at his, you're, that's what you're talking about. This guy does yeah. stuff his own way. He actually defies science. This guy right here, right now. That's what they're saying about you. Shannon Sharp said this morning... Mm-hmm. It's, it's like we learned, if science is Dr. Fauci, you damn right I'm fine. <laughs> okay, that's on me. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> you let him right yeah, into that one. Up that one. <laughs> yeah, Fauci's just sitting at home, reminiscing about his terrible opening pitch. Mm-hmm. And he's like, it's Tuesday again? <laughs> Great. Everybody's going to be reminded. Everybody's going to be reminded. You got so he cannot resist an opportunity. Well, I am the science Dr. Fauci. Aaron Rodgers has to bring it up. It's been interesting, and I do. I have to give credit to ESPN. I had a lot of questions when Pat McAfee went there. You know, obviously, they're not going to let him drop the F-bomb anymore. They're not going to let him say fuck on, you know, live cable television in the middle of the day. But other than that, it doesn't seem... Like ESPN has neutered the Pat McAfee show. Those things could change. We'll see how long they continue to allow Aaron Rodgers to get up there and say things they probably vehemently disagree with. But as for right now, we haven't seen anything from ESPN to indicate that they're going to try to silence Aaron Rodgers or Pat McAfee. What do you guys think about the latest shot from Aaron Rodgers? And also, just about him defying science in general. About how quickly he's been able, at his age, one of the oldest dudes in the NFL to get back out there and just throw a football a month removed from this major, major surgery for the Achilles repair. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.